Hi folks, so we filmed the Lakeshore Taz on the Tormach 770. We filmed it on the 1100. Those were both uh, 3 8 inch versions of the tool. Let's try the half inch in the Haas. What caught my attention was a fellow Instagram or Insta machinist who posted a crazy recipe uh, pushing this thing 400 inches a minute, like 48 cubic inches material removal, absolutely crazy. So we're gonna use Maritool Collet Chuck. I forbid you from using an ER collet, not the right situation. If you had a flat ground in here, uh, just like in the Seco video card here, you could use a set screw holder, but please don't use ER collets. We're gonna get more into that in a future video. Gauge length is approximately the from uh, ab slightly above the collar here down, so five and a quarter inches. Edit. Probe. Tool setting. Non-rotating. It is a an end mill. 5.25. Life BR, life before Renishaw, man, these things are sweet. We'll go 70 foot pounds. What's our cam recipe? Face it off real quick. Just a 10 thou face off. I have a recipe from an Instagram machinist friend who was running it at 48 cubic inches a minute. This cut is only 12, so we're at, at a quarter uh, of his recipe. So I'm not worried about this one bit, but it should give us a good starting off point. Here goes nothing. 2D adaptive. 1,500 surface feet per minute, eight thou per tooth. That's 275 inches per minute. Oh, this is wimpy. 0.1 inch optimal load or 20% of the half inch tool. No problem at all. We do want to make sure we have smoothing on. I'll put it to half a thou. Note that your tolerance plus smoothing, I believe, needs to be less than your stock to leave, but here we have one thou tolerance plus half a thou of smoothing. That's a thou and a half, and we have 10 thou radial stock. So we're good there, and make sure we got our no engagement feed rate set correctly. Spindle loads at 20%, maybe 25, 29, 27, but it's nothing. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make any sense to turn the coolant off. Coolant on aluminum makes it is absolutely necessary. Uh, on the steel, like with the Seco video, that was great because you can run it dry or with air blast, but aluminum, you need the coolant. Lastly, when we post this, our Haas post, you need to use G187. That's Haas's parameters for finishing, medium, or roughing. So G187 P1 is for roughing, two is for medium, three is for finishing. So what the heck is this? Well, believe it or not, and I know this sounds crazy, the machine doesn't run G-code. It takes the G-code and t distills that into its own interpretation of the motion control. So again, that's kind of crazy to think, but your machine isn't actually running exactly what you post. Again, it's, it's reprocessing it. And this G187 helps understand how the machine can basically, I'm, I am at the risk of paraphrasing, paraphrasing, can it cut corners? So it, the, and there's some scientific explanation behind this, but at P1 roughing, it can cut up to, actually you can even define the E value for how much, I usually leave that blank, but you see a marked difference in how the machine moves. And when we do adaptives, I absolutely want P1. Post there, let's see what this adaptive comes out as. Yeah, it came out as P2, which I'm gonna manually change it to P1, something I'm learning and working on, how do I get that to set to P1 by default? Lakeshore Engraver, we love this tool. 
Uh, I like it because it gives a good crisp edge. It tends not to raise a burr and it lasts. I got tired of replacing. You know, we still use a 364 ball end mill for some stuff and that's not a bad tool, but this one has been great. And finally, a quick chamfer deburr. I'd be curious to see what the edge looks like though too. It's a roughing tool, so it shouldn't be perfect, but nevertheless, that's 122 inches a minute. Isn't it amazing how slow that looks? Actually, it looks pretty good. Floor's good, the sidewalls uh, have a very good look to them. Uh, I'm sure those would clean up quite well. It just occurred to me, the next test is blow out this interior pocket, which will give us a chance to test the plunging as well. Let's pocket out the 750 deep pocket inside the logo we just made. This is crazy. <laughs> We're basically going for it. 1,500 surface feet. 10 thou per tooth, that's 343 inches per minute. We're gonna ramp at 91 inches a minute at 22 degrees. The tool can apparently even do more than that, but it's still only 39 cubic inches a minute, which is inside of the measurement I got off the uh, instant machinist buddy, so, woo. So folks, that was really short. I, I don't know what to do next. So I thought, wait a minute here, what do you guys want to see? I will do whatever you guys want within limits. I don't want to regret saying that, but no, seriously, the material removal rate seems crazy. The ramping seems crazy. I was really happy with the service finish. Uh, I don't do a lot of jobs right now that require that much hogging. So I kind of thought, well, what do I want to do? What's the limit? What is, what is interesting? Tell me in the comments below. I love learning new, new tools, new strategies, new ways to think about it, new ways to remove material. I love sharing this, paying it forward. I hope you guys had fun. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. See you soon.